Hi everybody, welcome back to my kitchen here at Little Spoon Farm. In today's video, we are going to make a very simple and delicious blueberry pie filling that you can put into your canning jars, can it and have blueberry pie any time of the year. So what you're going to need are six pints of fresh blueberries and that equals about 14 cups. You're also going to need sugar, clear gel. Now clear gel is a form of cornstarch that is used when canning things like pie fillings. And you want to uh, try to find this. I'll leave a link in the description box below to um, an Amazon link of where I got this from. But you want to use clear gel instead of cornstarch because this is made for the pie filling to where when you um, can it, it won't separate afterwards. So it's very important that you use the clear gel. We're going to use bottled lemon juice. And again, it's important that you use bottled lemon juice because of the acidity level. In uh, natural lemons, the acidity, acidity level can vary from fruit to fruit. So you want to make sure that you use bottled lemon juice. We're also going to use a little bit of cinnamon and a little bit of ground nutmeg. So if you want to make a delicious blueberry pie filling, go ahead and stay tuned and let's get started. So to begin with, normally I would just go ahead and put these ingredients straight into my pot but because it's so high and you can't see, I'm just gonna go ahead and mix it in a bowl first and then we'll add it to the pot. And I'll take you over there to see what we're gonna do. Okay, so to this bowl, I want to add three, let's see, I have three and a quarter cups of granulated sugar. One. Two. And this is just plain white sugar cane sugar, three, and finally we have a quarter cup. Okay, to the sugar, we're going to add the clear gel. And for this size, we are gonna use one and a quarter cup of clear gel. So I'm just gonna get it out with this little quarter cup. So I need four of these make a cup and then one extra for that quarter cup and this recipe is modified just slightly with the um, with the cinnamon and the nutmeg from the National Food Preservation website for home food home preservation hopefully I didn't mess that up too bad so we have the sugar and we have the clear gel. Now I like to add ground cinnamon. And so I'm gonna add a teaspoon of ground cinnamon to this. And these two are actually, these two seasonings are actually optional. We're gonna do that. And then we're gonna add half a teaspoon of nutmeg. I just really like blueberry pie with the cinnamon and nutmeg flavors in them. So just take a whisk and whisk these ingredients together. And I did forget to mention that I do have um, my water bath canner going. Normally I would use this as my water bath counter ca um, canner, but I didn't have one big enough, another stock pot to hold this. So I'm actually using my pressure canner as a water bath canner. So that way I had something big enough to can these quart size jars. And this is going to make um, four quarts of pie filling. So it's good just to kind of get these ingredients incorporated together and whisk together before you add the water. So what we're gonna do is Go ahead, and this is 
not hot right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this into the stock pot along with four cups of water. And I'm gonna whisk this up again. Woo! <laughs> Just made a dust cloud in here. Clear gel and sugar. So, I'm just whisking the water in. And now I'm gonna take this over and bring this to a boil over medium heat. So I wanted to show you, I've got four quart jars in this water bath canner. This is actually a pressure canner, but I'm using it as a water bath canner. You see, I've got the trivet on the bottom and these are covered with an inch of water and they are just sitting in some really warm um, water while I make the blueberry pie filling and when we go to can it up, my jars will be nice and warm. So I'm just gonna stir this until this becomes really thick and starts to bubble. All right, this is starting to get really thick. Okay. So now it's time to add the lemon juice. You can see how thick that is. So let me get... We are gonna add a quarter cup, oops, of lemon juice plus two tablespoons. Okay, get that stirred in. Now it's boiling and we're gonna let it boil for one minute. See how thick that is? Whoops. Put that timer on for one minute. I'm gonna turn that down so it doesn't burn. But you wanna stir this. And see how thick that is? I'm gonna switch. Okay, now we're gonna add our blueberries. I'm just going to get this really good and mixed in. You can see it's super, super thick. So I'm going to turn the heat off of this. Oh. <laughs> and then I'm going to get our jars ready and we will start processing this blueberry pie filling. Okay, so I've filled all these jars and I want you to see, like I literally scraped out 
as much as I can to make sure each jar is full. And it should have about one inch to one and a half inches of headspace on the top. So just go around with a wet napkin. And make sure that there's no residue on the outside. I did go in and debubble these as I was doing them, so you def definitely want to do that. But I'm going to go over these rooms one more time because I really want to make sure there's nothing in between the lid and the ring. So I'm going to go ahead and I know these are hot jars. Put these in the water bath canner. Make sure that's fingertip tight. Okay, we are going to let this come to a boil. I'm gonna cover it and then we're gonna let it boil for 30 minutes because I am below a thousand uh, feet above sea level. If you are between 1,001 and 3,000 feet, you're gonna let it process for 35 minutes or above 3,001 feet above sea level for 40 minutes. Okay, once these have processed, you take the top off the canner, let them sit for about five minutes, and then you're going to want to put them on the counter, let them rest for at least 12 to 24 hours undisturbed so that they will seal properly. So we're just gonna leave these to cool and seal. All right, you guys, that's it. That's how easy it is to make blueberry pie filling. We have four quarts, so that will uh, let us bake four blueberry pies during the winter. And it's really super easy. You just um, roll out a nine inch pie crust, unbaked, pour your pie filling in. You wanna cover it with another one. And I usually like to put like a little egg wash on top and bake it until the crust is nice and golden brown. So I will have a recipe, a link in the description box below. That way you will have all the instructions to actually bake the pie. And if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more simple recipes. Until next time, bye.